Oh, great. <laughs> I thought I pressed the mute button. Uh, awesome. Let me just redo that intro for everyone. <laughs> We're off to a good start already. Uh, all right, let me redo my, my snake intro. <laughs> So, wait, let's just go, let's do this. Oh, oh, oh dear, the, the stream is about to start, oh. Uh, hello there. Sean the Extra Guy here. It's time for a stream. Hmm. Metal Gear Solid 4. <laughs> Alright. No, it's not, not as good as when I first started it. Not as good when, uh, when I first did it. <laughs> Uh, bloody hell. Of course, of course, of course I would make this the the rookie streamer mistake. Actually, it's not such a rookie streamer mistake, because even, even the, uh, e even the, even the best streamers, it happens to, so, there you go. Um, anyway, Metal Gear Solid 4. <laughs> That's what I was saying. <laughs> God damn it, I, I, you know... I hate it when that happens. Anyway, um... So... The Metal Gear Solid franchise was something that... I wanted to play... Um... When I first started streaming. And... Thinking about my journey... From like my first stream and saying... Oh god, I... I can play Fable, I can play Metal Gear Solid, I can play all these... All these games for... And, and stream them. Um... And it's an excuse to play them again, you know, like... That's the sort of mentality I had, you know. And, um, you know, finally getting to Metal Gear Solid 4, it's just, it, it's just, yeah, it, it's, it's amazing. Um, just thinking about, like, all the games that, uh, preceded it, and, um, yeah, I just, I, I'm, I'm, I'm overwhelmed. Um, it's, it's finally here, Metal Gear Solid 4. Anyway, Metal Gear Solid 4, by the way, is gonna be the longest, <laughs> is gonna have the longest cutscenes. Because, you know, Kajimbo. Kajimbo magic. Um, uh, just... It's, uh... It's, it's, gonna, it's gonna be interesting. I don't know how much, like, gameplay um, segments we're gonna have during this stream, because I know the introductions uh, fairly, fairly long. Not long, long, but it is, it is a little bit long. Um... But there's a lot of cutscenes in this game. At this point, they're not even cutscenes. They're just straight up, like, scenes. <laughs> I think all up, the cutscenes in this game. Like, what was it? Like, seven hours or something? No. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Uh, and anyway, there, there's there's a lot of cutscenes in this game. Like, more than Metal Gear Solid 3. And Metal Gear Solid 3 had a lot of cutscenes. So... You know. Anyway, let's just, let's just get on with this, um, let's not delay any further. Um, put up my main screen, there we go. And, uh, let's get right to it. Now, will it do that thing again? It's probably going to do the black screen again, isn't it? Yep. I'm going to have to... Disconnect and reconnect my Elgato. Because of course I do. Yep. Konami. Fuck Konami. Kajimbo Productions. Alrighty. Let's do this. Oh, Dolby Digital. Of course. Gotta have that surround sound. So I hate how the mic is picking up the... Bloody fan again. 
All right. Well, new game. Naked normal. It's players who are skilled at action games. Normal setting for Europe and North America. What? Players who want to test their limits. Who aren't good at action games. I, I, I love how they... Liquid. I'm the easiest setting! Why am I the easiest setting, Snake? I didn't make that decision. That was Kajimbo's decision. Naked normal. <laughs> well, you know what? We're gonna do solid normal. How about that? That was... That, that felt louder than what it needed to be. I know it's a gunshot, but... Still. Now, if you're just tuning in, you must be thinking... These guys are crazy. What are they staring at that pile of seaweed for? Sure is what I'm thinking. Well, what you're actually looking at is an octopus. Oh. These guys are masters of camouflage. They can change octopus. color and skin texture. Some have even been observed walking on two arms and imitating a coconut. <laughs> They're nuts, all right. Now, they mostly feed off of mussels, herring, and crab. Spend That's a poisonous time. one. I know that from a nature documentary. It's when got they're rings. hungry or in some sort of danger, they haul some serious tail. No, they haul all eight arms. Uh, that's right. And if we're lucky, we may get to see what's called jet propulsion. It's the only time you'll see an octopus go fast. And I mean real fast. Really intelligent creatures. Really, really... Hey, where'd it go? Yeah. I no. wouldn't recommend keeping these guys as pets. They often find their way out of captivity. Hmm, really intelligent creatures. Are we playing Metal Gear Solid 4? <laughs> Did I put the right disc in? <laughs> I'm kidding. I, I didn't realize I, I put on a... I didn't realize I put on a movie. I'm only shit talking Kajimbo. Because I love him. Love that motherfucker. Oh, we put on some Russian film. Okay, I, I didn't. Like, when I looked at the disc, but the, when I looked at the disc, it said Metal Gear Solid Four. I think someone might have. Uh, I think someone might have erased the game and put these commercials on from an alternate reality. In the not too distant future, on a tired battlefield, war has become routine. I'd like them to remaster this game, because I reckon. I reckon those shadows could definitely use some, uh, some touch-ups. And the aliasing as well. Put it on PC! So I don't, so I don't have to deal with the PlayStation 3 HCCP issue. That causes Elgato to... To, to go nuts. War. 
mean, you don't even have to do much with this. Has changed. War. War never changes. It's no longer about nations, Does look ideologies, or ethnicity. Given how old it's this game is. It's a series of proxy battles fought by mercenaries and machines. War and its consumption of life has become a well-oiled machine. War has changed. ID tag soldiers carry ID tag weapons, use ID tag gear. Metal gear. Nanomachines inside their bodies enhance and regulate their abilities. Genetic control, information control, emotion control, battlefield control. Everything is monitored and kept under control. Has changed. The age of deterrence has become the age of control. All in the name of averting catastrophe from weapons of mass destruction. And he who controls the battlefield controls history. War has changed. When the battlefield is under total control, war becomes routine. Not the most well trained soldiers there, are they? Hello, Tilly. Then I guess we gotta... What do we gotta do then? <laughs> you get... Kajimba, you gave me like, what, 10 seconds? 10 seconds of me controlling, then you give me a cutscene again? Kajimba, why? Frame rate, definitely like, definitely in the teens there. Weapon available for use. Ready it by selecting weapons from the menu screen. Okay, no. thanks, sir. Uh... Weapons screen, and then. There we go. Oh, no, that makes sense. So can I, can I, hang on, can I swap the, uh, bindings? Uh. I cannot. 
No, nope, I guess I guess I have to I have to shoot with that. Yep. Don't forget. Was he what was he about to say? Was he about to say, don't forget Snake, this is a sneaking mission? No. Hello, Emin Honolulu. I don't even know what that is. We need backup. Hit him hard. What? What? Huh? I don't think that's how that works. You think, you think this guy wants me to shoot the ball? I, I think that's, that's... I don't know what he's saying. He's being kind of cryptic here. Maybe not that way then. Oh, I don't know where I'm going. Also, it is loud. Give me a second. A second, I'm just gonna turn. It is really loud. I was like, how did that guy? How did he see me? Exactly. That's an answer to that. Yeah, I'll well, do that. Tried to. I, well, I mean, I thought I had to, you know. Oh, Russian. Okay. That was kind of hard to see. I was really confused as to where to go, but... Alright. This is definitely... <laughs> unconventional from... From Metal Gear game. Oh.
do they sound like, uh, why do they sound like cows? Damn geckos. Old snake. There he is. There he is. Would have been the obvious choice, but they're probably going to check the box. No place for Hideo. L1 or tap X or triangle, you get different cutscenes. Well, I mean, I know you can see through first person. Through, uh. Through certain scenes. Or at least. I know that's from past experiences. The uh, past Metal Gear games. smokes a lot. Ah, that's the old save that I had. Huh. As far as Act Two, let's let's keep it there for 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 comparison's sake. Because yeah, I have played this before, but it's it was when I first got this game and the and the PlayStation Three back in twenty fourteen. So you know. Three days earlier. Ah.
got to go. Who is he saluting then? It's because he's not boss. You've got an old friend waiting for you. He's not big boss. I mean, Baraka. So he can't be saluting boss. The test results. Proteome analysis was positive, but the mRNA analysis turned up negative. The wrinkled skin, the hardened arteries. Your early aging symptoms look like classic Werner syndrome. But none of the tests were able to pinpoint the cause. So... Well... Judging by how rapidly the aging has progressed, I'd say... A year at best, right? Snake, let's try another doctor. <laughs> it won't make any difference. I'm not an ordinary man to begin with. Not to mention Fox die. You're right. Okay, so you can do that then. But we don't know where Naomi is. Interactive cutscenes. Uh, oh, look at look Good at this. See you. Well, I'm not a colonel anymore, Snake. I figured the only place I'd see you dressed like that would be at your daughter's wedding. What are you doing these days? I'm working for an organization under the UN Security Council. The analysis and assessment staff of the PMC Oversight and Inspection Committee. Yeah, I remember the resolution being passed a few years ago. Snake, I uh, came across some information in my work. Huh? We found him. In the Middle East. What? I'll explain along the way. We've got to stop him. Now. Before it's too late. Liquid's made his move. We've found him. He's preparing to unleash his insurrection. Liquid is lying in wait in a Middle Eastern war zone. Track him down. Liquid. Liquid. I'm back, Snake. I, look, I, I've seen some of the stuff for this. I'm not going to spoil it for anyone else, but I've seen some of the stuff. I know exactly what what's going on, and it's ridiculous. That's why I'm laughing. Today, Polidus must have taken the day off. You broke the yoke. Liquid sun. Liquid filth. This is 
Snake, do you read me? What's the situation? I'm just inside the city limits. This place is crawling with lizards. Ah, AT Corps' unmanned bipedal weapons. Officially designated Irving by the US military. They've spread like wildfire among the PMCs. There are more of those things now in service than tanks. They've got tough armor plating and are highly agile to boot. Your best bet is to stay out of their sights. Unmanned. Pretty soon they'll have put living, breathing soldiers out of work. Even so, that's an awful lot of gecko for this scenario. Their numbers exceed the war price for that region. It must have something to do with Liquid's arrival on the scene. You really think he's here? You'll have to find the Army's operatives and ask them yourself. Oh, and Snake, I went ahead and used the Mark II to scout out the area before your arrival. You'll find it up ahead. Mark II? It's a remote mobile terminal. Sonny and I built it. The Mark II will provide you with a map of the area as well as any battle situation data. You should find it before you do anything else. Okay, got it. The rendezvous point is marked on your map. I'll be waiting for you there. Okay. Octocamo. An advanced camouflage suit inspired by the mimicry ability of the octopus. The wearer lies still or doesn't move when pressed up against the wall. The suit can imitate the colour and texture of wall and ground surfaces, fooling both the naked eye and infrared sensors. There we go. I think we need a equip it, don't we? Oh look, iPod. An iPod. And we get, and we got our get a good good old SIGs. Okay. I, I, no, I don't think we don't have to I don't think we have to equip it, so. Just hang on. Aha, there we go. Look at that butt. Look at that fucking toned ass. It may not be thick. Unlike Raiden's. But you know. Also, I, I do love the effect though. Also, fucking look at this. Kajimbo knew what he was doing. Kajimbo knew what he was doing. I'm gonna try to- I'm gonna try to do pacifist. Like, I'm gonna try. And be as pacifist as I can. And only, like, take out guards when I need to. Or take out soldiers when I need to, I should say. Avoid unnecessary combat whenever possible. In this war, neither side is your enemy. There's no point whatsoever in you getting into a fight. Got it? This is pretty funny how it just it just changes. It's also funny that it changes like that. <laughs> I mean, just look at that. <laughs> changes to tile texture. Like, obviously what it's doing is, it's like, it's like... It, this is the technical mind that I have. But it's pulling from the texture that you're on, and just goes, okay, apply that to the suit. 
Which is a cool effect, like, I must say. And it's a good idea, like, it's, I don't think it's ever been done in any other game before. A sneaky mission. That poor sod. Hey, look, it's something on the bed. Arsenal compass. A compass. Compress. I, I think I'm dyslexic today. Wait, can we turn into the rug? Are we now the rug texture? <laughs> yeah, this is a this is a first playthrough. Although not technically, I have played this before, but not for a stream, and I I didn't get very far. I got to like Act Two, so. So it's been a while. <laughs> but, uh, I've played through, um, 1, 2, 3, and Peace Walker so far. For the stream, so. Look at that. Um. I think, I think it is. I wish you could, like, vault over the, um. I wish you could vault over the. Over the things here, over the window. Hang on, can we, uh, wait. Yep, we can also turn to the box texture. I'm a box. I just love that. <laughs> I'm just going to wait for those guys to move along. Tougher to break through. It might be best to avoid that area altogether if you can. What the? Acting under contract to local authorities. Oh. The praying mantis PNC recently restored governmental control to this sector. Utilizing arms tech Irving unmanned vehicles. I'm, I definitely am, and I know I know my girlfriend is as well, considering she's pretty good with lore. And I back away slowly. I think I saw something. I saw nothing. I saw nothing. 
Who goes there? Well, nothing. We got a hostile. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck's sake, can I please aim at them? Why are they still on alert? Like, how do they know where I am? Biggest boss. Solid is bigger boss. Use some ketchup to fight the <laughs> wrong game. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. Solid and, and big boss are not the same person. Solid snake and big boss, I should say. Yeah, but he's dead. We killed him. We killed him in the second game. Mr. President. You know, I was trying to be sneaky and then all of a sudden that shit happened. ID locked. Oh. I guess we gotta. I, I guess we gotta get like a thing for it. Oh, I know about the cutscenes. enemy attacks and get past small gaps and obstacles. Yep.
What with the enemy? Ah! Oh shit. Little shit. I can see the controls still aren't quite modernized. Even even in 2008, which I think this that's when this game came out. Yeah, it's still not quite, you know, at that uh, Metal Gear Solid 5 level, you know? I mean, then again, we did play Peace Walker. And I've got to say, though, that those are probably the worst controls. Do I have text to speech? I mean, I've got it on for, um, for subs. I mean, the game, like, I mean, these games have, like, a lot of cutscenes. Aside from that, I think maybe if you if you donate, like, there's also text to speech as well. So that's about it. When I say donate, like bits and that. I think I think I've got that on. Oh, not again! Not again! We fucking. Well, I wanted to go pacifist, but, uh, yeah, that, that was great. And no one heard it! Because it's a war zone. And gunfire is pretty common. What's here. going on? HQ. This is HQ. Man down. Go in forward formation. Acknowledge. Sending reinforcements. Use extra Don't caution. Don't do that. Camouflaged. I'm not sure how, how much the minimum is. God damn it, he's gonna walk on me. Oh no. Understood. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Well, I thought I was being fucking sneaky, but no. So far, so good. This is great. Good start to the game. Uh, 
there's nowhere to hide. Awesome. Oh, excellent. This is going great. Come in, Snake. What happened? Snake? Uh, well, this is this is unforgiving. This is definitely unforgiving. <laughs> oh, all the way back here. Awesome. Yeah, let's not do stupid things. Let's see, is there anything you like, can we search through here? Oh, we most definitely can. Regain. Tasty beverage with rejuvenating properties. Restores life and psych when consumed. Psyche, I should say. You know, that, that was in, that was in, um, that was in Peace Walker as well, and that mechanic never got used. Or was not very obvious. Who was that? Nobody here. Damn right. He might have. Can I turn. I cannot turn the brightness options. Oh no, here we go. Oh, shit. I can actually. Oh, I don't know. We can't, we can't change the uh, default aiming and shooting controls. I mean, but why the hell, why the hell were, like, developers back in the PS3 days? Why were they so adamant not to use the triggers? Uh, also cutscene subtitles, I need to turn them on. Alright, hang on a second. Oops, brightness adjustment. Just feels way too dark. Okay, let's go up here then. Operation. Oops. Test. Test. Yeah, that's that's a bit too little. Uh I'm gonna have to change that. Because that can easily be abused. So don't abuse it. We're going to have fun, Sean. No. <laughs> don't abuse it. Give me a second. I, I'm okay with having the text of speech, but I don't want Only it to be once. that. Please. No. <laughs> I'm going to change that. Because I don't want to be hearing that sound every time. Give me a second. Hang on. <sighs> yeah. 
I do, I, I do apologize, guys. It's just, uh, yeah. Cause I thought I said I had thought I had had this set up right. So it shouldn't, it shouldn't be uh, for that. Uh, text to speech shouldn't be for that. There we go. I, I, I am sorry. I am sorry, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't want it to be, uh, <laughs> I don't want people to abuse that. Yeah, nothing against you, John. Nothing against you. I just, uh, I know. I know. I'm, I'm just, nothing against you. I'm, it's just, uh, I, I, I saw that and I was like, okay, that can be abused by someone who, who is, uh, who doesn't have the best of intentions, you know? <laughs> Okay, there we go. Sorry, sorry. I, 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 I'm just, I'm just, I was just concerned. That's all. Like I did, I, I, I noticed there was also someone in here, uh, who might, who might also abuse it. <laughs> uh, yeah. I just, I, yeah. That's the only thing. Like that's the only thing. I just don't want people abusing that. Uh, it's fine if it's like a little bit more than that. Um. But, uh, yeah, particularly, particularly if it's, um, uh, if it's only just like a little bit, uh, if it's only just one, but, yeah, anyway, I do apologize. I don't mean to like be a little bit grouchy because <laughs> I realized that I might've been a little bit too grouchy then, but I was just like, Oh, you know, that can be abused, you know, <laughs> anyway, sorry about that. Um, I feel bad now. <laughs> I feel really bad. So, no hard feelings. Huh? Not again. Go away. Also, I just I just noticed the um, I got you two confused. By the way, I probably would have been a little bit uh, less uh, harsh if I if I didn't get you confused. But because you got the same cult. same color on my uh, on my thing. Yeah. For someone I, I yeah, there's someone I don't know there. Uh, I'm in Honolulu. <laughs> I do. I, I I don't know you, so it's the first time you're in this you're in this stream, so I don't know who you are, and so I gotta err, err on the side of caution for for, for times that uh, okay, um, you know, because I don't know what sort of chatter you are. Anyway, anyway, that lo long explanation short. I was just yeah. I was a little bit, a little bit uh, concerned. Huh. Hey! Hey, it's that thing. It's me, Snake. Snake, it's me. Huh? Otacon. Sorry to keep you waiting, Snake. Allow me to introduce Metal Gear Mark. It's that, it's that uh, Metal the, Gear. Metal That's Gear. Right. Just like Rex. <laughs> it's the, 
It's that thing from uh, VR chat. It's the um, thing that I got. But this gear's not and a I said, weapon. oh, is that from Metagazole 4? It's a remote 4? mobile terminal designed to provide you with operational support. Where are you? That's X. Oh, I'm shit. in the Nomad. Where else? I wasn't even looking. I'll be watching you through oh, the I know. Too. Mm, wish I was good with gadgets. Hey, I'll be with you in spirit. Anyway, because you had to dress up as a militiaman, I had the Mark II bring you some goodies. I know, flashbacks, I know. Starting with this. Was that the... Put it on your I, It was at the start eye. as well, so... Looks like an eye patch. I call it the Solid Eye. It's an all-purpose goggle that displays radar images and other data in 3D. You can also switch it over to light amplifying night vision. The rebels are out there. It looks like they've got the government's PMC troops beat, at least in numbers. And this is their own turf. Snake, I know this is a sneaking mission, but you'll need to protect yourself. Installed a suppressor, and here's a tranquilizer gun. Finally, I got handguns now. Oh, how thoughtful. And I've got guns it that can I, I can uh, of the system. non lethal kill miracle, people. It was never recycled. It's getting tough these days finding decent guns that aren't controlled. Did I say non lethally kill people? That didn't make any sense. Yes, kill people non lethal. Fe feed them a sedative. Of course. Several times. I'll follow you wherever you go. Like this. I'll activate stealth so it doesn't attract any attention. If you need it, just bring up the start button menu. Got it. Snake, the informants who said they saw a liquid here should be a little further up. Head for the rendezvous point. I've placed a mark on the radar in the upper right corner of the solid eye. It's a war zone out there. Stay on your toes. Okay. Awesome. Snake, it's kind of a schlep, but I've sent you data on an alternate route. Follow the mark on your radar. Yeah, there we go. Great modes. You will die if you kill them. They do? I never knew that! Wow, I never look at killing people the same again. What the fuck are those? I mean, I thought I had to go this way, but apparently not.
Is this a console exclusive? Yeah, it was, uh, it's PS3 exclusive. As far as I know, they... Yeah, I don't think they've ever released it. I don't think they've ever re-released it. Except in, like, a, um... I think there was a Metal Gear Solid uh, Legacy Collection. But again, that was on PS3, so... Well, as long as I can be focused on, like, the fighting, that'd be nice. I mean, I, I would really love for this to be ported to PC. Like, already I can see a lot of frame rate issues, like... Like, I, I, there's definitely a lot of issues with the game. That poor fuck. We're definitely in a war zone. You think we're in a war zone? I don't know. Also, oh, there's a missile launcher there. I want it. Take the shot. I don't even think, I don't even think I can, I can use it. Oh no, okay, I can use it. I don't think I've got any, it doesn't look like I've got any, uh... Yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna waste this in case I really need it. Unless I really need it, that's when I'll use it. Shoot the tank. Yeah, I, I think I'm in Honolulu is uh, is a warmonger. I think he I think he really really wants to to, to wage war. Also, yeah, someone else buys the IP. Uh, well, apparently Sony was trying to. Like Sony was actually trying to acquire a lot of Konami uh, IP. It's pretty dark in there. Switch the solid eye to night vision mode. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, John. Ah, oh, we gotta rush for that ration. Yep, knew that was gonna happen. You really can't see anything, can you? Just give me a second, hang on. 
I need to fix this, um... Yeah, it might, might look like I'm just, like, doing random things. Um, it's, this has a purpose to it. Also, what is... What's going on in that bottom screen there? Wait, is that sunny? Okay, just give me a second. Yeah, I'm, what I'm doing is I'm just... Because this controller... I have to use a different controller because for some reason the other one is a bit faulty. I don't know why it is, but... Yeah, I have to use like another controller and this... <laughs> the analog sticks on this one, they feel kind of unused. Or cheap, I don't know, could be either either one really. I don't think this is an official Sony controller. This is like an aftermarket, um, aftermarket one. Even though it's got like Sony branding on it, I think this is like, yeah, I, I think it just it's just using like a casing and, um, I guess, I guess it's using the same parts, but it's not exactly the same. I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of weird. It's like both official and unofficial at the same time. <laughs> that even makes sense. It's pretty dark in there. You'll have, you'll have to, uh, you'll have to post the, um, the clip on, <laughs> on the, on the video clips, uh, channel. Wait, hang on, is there any more, anything more in here? Oh, okay. I don't see me. Wait, can we- wait, 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 can we... Hang on. Wait, hang on. Wait. There! Aw. If this was Metal Gear Solid 3, I'd be able to collect the chicken. And eat it. Wait, I know, I know what I, I know, I know, I know what I can do. Well, it's sleeping. So that's something. How do I grab that? Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Jesus. This is what you do, okay? You, you, you search around for, like, little pickups.
Oh look, music. iPod music, theme of Tara. Huh. But infiltration music, known as theme of Tara because Hideo Kojima verbalized the song's beat as Tara during development. Oh, let's listen to it then. Well, this is a great advertisement for, for an iPod. Oh, that's how you do it. How do you go back? Oh. Well, this is really weird. Metal Gear Solid 4 Integral Podcast 01. Okay, it's it's actually from Metal Gear. It's it's a it's a mod. No, no, it's not a mod. This is actually in the fucking game. Anyway, that's interesting. It's very interesting. That's, oh, that's why, okay. Oh, it's got charge in it. Okay. I didn't know that. That's what that sound was. Zap. <laughs> Is he facing? He's facing the wall. Okay. Why is this place shaking randomly? It's a war zone. That's... that's not a good position to sleep in.
Someone's yeah, someone's having a lot of fun time upstairs. A lot of banging. If you if you know what I Don't come this way, don't come this way. <laughs> oh, stun grenade and smoke grenade. See, we didn't kill anyone, we just... We knocked them out. Some weird shit going on. And no one suspect the thing. Except when they did. Hey, got a cardboard box. Awesome. night vision on. A minigun. Oh, got an RPG. Another one. <laughs> Middle Eastern Militia Disguise. Oh. Cool. Oh. Oh, oh there we go. Olive drab. Look at that. costume. Oh, there we go. Playboy? It's just straight up called Playboy, okay. Gentleman's magazine adorned with sultry beauties on each and every page. We got that right. Guaranteed to arouse the... <laughs> More than arouse, I suppose. Arouse the interest of males aged eight, 18 to 80. Oh, I guess that... Guess my grandpa's out of, out of mix. He's he's 95 years old. He ain't... He's too old to... <laughs> too old to read this one. <laughs> Grip the magazine in your hands with L1. Carefully plant it using R1. Uh, to view the magazine... Oh, it's a weapon. <laughs> okay, just, just give me a second. I don't trust Kajimbo. I don't, I don't trust Kajimbo. Oh, shit, I pressed the wrong button. I, no, I meant to... I meant to look at the magazine. Oops. Yeah, there's nothing there. It's just... I, I, I accidentally placed the magazine down. Hang on, can I still collect it? Can I get it back? Can, can I get it? Can I get it back? I can't get it back. There's no There's no getting that back. <laughs> God damn it. I 
I want to go first person. <laughs> How do I... Okay, how do I go first person? God damn it. Okay, how do I fucking first... <laughs> Be helpful if, you know, it actually said the controls in the game, but that wasn't a thing back in 2008. You're expected to have the manual, which I do have the manual, so I guess I got fucking... Gonna get the manual to look at this shit. <laughs> let's see. Let's, let's read the fucking manual. It's you. Oh. It's me. Yes, it's me. Totally normal man. Totally normal Middle Eastern man. Okay, um. Where the fuck is the controls? Okay, here we are. Well, I guess we'll get to he'll get to see the um Wait, what happened to What the fuck happened to it? <laughs> what? What? What just happened to it? Do I have a right gun for the camera? Apparently, I didn't before. Like he, he saw it. He saw that I had a gun. What the fuck is? Okay, hang on. Okay, when aiming weapon, switch to first person. So, okay. Lucky I'm wearing the disguise, so now I can just like walk around freely. <laughs> so that's where I've been. Apparently, people know me. RPG ammo, there we go. I, I guess a rat did take it, yeah. <laughs> a rat really did. I'm trying to look at this Playboy magazine. Yeah, the Playboy magazine that I accidentally set down. Also, did I check... Okay, I don't remember checking that locker. Did I check that locker? I didn't check it. Oh, there's just another. All right. We met riding. Well, we've only just started, so no. Not yet. We have not met him just yet.
monkey. Monkey! Monkey! Uh, uh, uh. Pretty sweet, huh? <laughs> oh, hold it. Watch where you point that thing. <laughs> Who are you? Neither enemy nor friend. Voila. You're not with the militia, and you're not PMC. I'm a weapons wholesaler. All shapes, all sizes. But there's no need to Magic. work. All my shit's been laundered. <laughs> I had to do it. Laundered. <laughs> you see? Take ID guns like the PMCs use and make some mods. Then you can use them without having to match IDs. In other words, I'm a gun launderer. <laughs> you can call me Drebin. <laughs> Drebin. Yeah, they use that for all of us. Oh, there are more of you all over the world. Not that I ever met any of them personally. Me, I'm Drebin number 893. Drebin. He also kind of looks like um, that guy from Dead or Alive. I forget his name. I think it's Zach. Yeah, Zach. Hi. You need a guy like me. Consider to welcome you. Take it. The M4, the official carbine model used by the U.S. Army, M4. developed from the M16 service rifle. <laughs> this one's a top-of-the-line model, real popular with the big PMCs. High precision, not like that government-issue shit. It's, uh, free-floating, of course. Relax, that barrel's clean. Is the Hyder CQC compatible? The beauty of this sucker is that it's got a lot of customizable parts. Change it up the way you want to meet your everyday needs. Flip up sight, rail system. Not bad. Yeah, well, you know, I get a lot of noobs around here. And if you need them, I got a wide selection of aftermarket parts as well. The frame's pretty rigid. No rattle. Go ahead, give her a squeeze. Hmm. Trigger. Really? That's weird. What's huh? weird? <laughs> it's weird. I got it. <laughs> okay, so that's what the psych is. Generation of nano machines. Older generation. He lost. Sometimes he lost. He really lost uh, confidence. System. Seriously, who are you? Oh. Slow down. <clears throat> oh, yeah. My day job's working at AT Security. <laughs> I'm in charge of production. Does he got a control. Pepsi Max? So I get my hands. You know what this means? Chips before they even register. You know, you know what this means? Have a sip. Wait, he's not got Pepsi Max. He's got a filthy, filthy ass fake coke. Side of AT, the public don't see. From the looks of it, you ain't with any state army. Missed opportunity, Kajimbo. But you ain't exactly green neither. Could have sponsored Pepsi Who's Max. That last gen nano Machines. Said, what'd you do with what? What'd you do with Death Stranding? Oh, I'm sponsored by Monster. Fuck that stuff. I don't know what you're here for, but you want to be well equipped. Also, am I right? Don't forget to the titty game. So, right? can we talk business or what? <laughs> you won't regret it. Out of machine, son. Give me a second. I get a call. What's your take on Emoticon? I don't particularly like the guy. But it looks like we'll need his help with those ID guns. Sonny's been doing a little sleuthing for us. Drebin, a well-known gun launderer in war economy circles. 
He's a businessman who deals mainly in selling black market firearms to small PMCs and local militia. Somalia, the Balkans, Lebanon, Darfur, Chechnya, Timur, Peru, the Punjab, Kashmir, Colombia. This guy really gets around. How's he pull it off anyway? You can create a non-ID gun by replacing the ID recognition chip with a counterfeit version. This enables you to bypass the ID recognition process and use the gun. The problem is that there's still a record of the chip being replaced on the system side. Drebin's an employee of AT Security. He must have connections on the inside erasing records for him. You think the Patriots are involved somehow? I'm not so sure. If the Patriots were running the system from behind the scenes, then a weasel like Drebin would be a real pain in their collective ass. Can he be trusted? Remember, Drebin's a green collar. He makes his living off the war economy. He doesn't let emotions get in the way of business, and he never gets his own hands dirty. The only thing he trusts is money. I share your concern, but what if we keep him at arm's length? Use him only to get intel and the supplies we need. Keep it strictly business. All right. So, we ready to make a deal or what? Okay then, let's talk business. This is a war zone. There's product coming in here by the truckload. And you'll be picking up a lot of guns in the field, I'm sure. Whatever guns you don't need, I'll take and buy them off you. That'll earn you points you can cash in for service. Like what? I'll launder your ID guns. No more locks. And I can also sell you the guns I've got in stock. Let me show you. What is this called? Knock or knock? To ensure you can use non ID guns, I'm gonna have to suppress the old nano machines you got in you. Otherwise, they'll interfere with the system. Here, stick yourself with this. It's full of suppressor nano machines. Nano machines, son. Relax, it won't hurt. You're scared of needles or something? What sort of chimp is that anyway? It's like a naked chimp. See? No sweat. Now he, he got he got the COVID vaccine. No <laughs> hey. Be nice to our guests. Step outside. Back up. <laughs> From now on, when you pick up an ID gun that says lock, you just let me know. You name it, I can launder it. Of course, it'll cost you. The going rate depends on the war price at the time. Man, I gotta give this shit a rest. Looks like you're doing pretty well for yourself. You might say that. What with the war economy and all, and the system clamping down on things. System codes are the law now, and control's essentially absolute, paving the way for fat profits, if you're willing to bend the law. Demand keeps on growing thanks to the war economy. I sell ID guns to the PMCs and state armies, and naked guns to terrorist groups and paramilitaries. And these ID guns can't be sold on the black market. System's practically a license for us arms dealers to print money. Privatizing the military has made the PMCs big and bloated. 
Fatter the PMCs get, the line between civilian and soldier is gonna get real blurry. Sooner or later, the whole damn human race is gonna be green coppers. More like we're all gonna be fighting proxy wars. But hey, this war economy puts the food on my table. You're a green collar too, aren't you? Yeah, it's in your eyes. You've seen a lot of combat. What makes you think you know me? Nothing to be ashamed of. I'm the same way. I grew up here too. I got no interest in the outside world. All right then, if you need me, holler. We specialize in speedy service. Catch my drift. I have you. I have you. <laughs> Seriously, is that? Okay, is that chimp? A specific species, or did he just shave the fucking chimp? Or does that chimp just have have a disease or something? Is he does he have chimp aids? Does that chimp have aids? Is that why is that why he's bald? Is that why the, the chimp is completely shaved? Or, or is it just like a like a species of chimp, like you know, like a um, like a a bald kit a, a bald cat, you know? I know what you're thinking, but Drebin does have a point. The world depends on war, on the war economy. Can you imagine what you would happen it. if war just disappeared overnight? Wish you didn't. Otacon, you and Drebin both mentioned defect. something that, about true. a war price earlier. What did you mean by that? It's a kind of market price, one that fluctuates according to demand, not only for PMCs and military industry, but for the production, distribution, and energy supply networks that support them. <laughs> It's been growing by leaps and bounds, and investors are really starting to take notice. As the fighting in any given area becomes increasingly intense and prolonged, the war price goes up. No doubt Drebin's rates are linked to that war price. The longer and bloodier a battle becomes, the higher service prices are gonna get. To put it another way, the quieter things are, the better the bargains. Snake, we'll use the Mark II to deal with Drebin from here on out. He's what you might call a street vendor. The Mark II can act as a kind of delivery boy, connect you with it. I'm adding a Drebin menu item to the Mark II's weapon menu. Whenever you pick up multiple units of the same weapon, any extras will automatically be sold to Drebin. Any ammo that's inside gets added to your cache. In other words, you keep the ammo, and the weapon itself gets traded to Drebin for points. I see. You can then ah. use the points you've earned to unlock ID guns or buy new weapons. Sounds good. We should assume Dremen has other agents collecting guns for him besides you, Snake. You know, freelance green collars who collect weapons in exchange for services? Guess I'll have to rely on him for now. Okay. Now go meet up with our informants, Rat Patrol. M4 carbine. Awesome. Snake, hurry and get to the rendezvous point with our informants. First, you'll have to get to the other side of that collapsed building. The only way across is straight through. Oh, apparently I've... St okay, apparently we've still got a, a Playboy magazine. ID locked, ID locked. Oh, look at that. Now that 
It's called a scar, right? Any gun nuts here? GSR. One of the scars. Also, I think it's time I can get rid of the disguise. Olive crab. Now that I know how to actually do that. Well, something dropped apparently. Careful, Snake. The walls could come down any second. Collect their weapons. Did I just loop around? I did. Because like, I think the idea is like the more people who like are killing each other, like the more. Actually, you know what? No, that's a good point. Why would there be? You know what? No, I think it's supply and it's demand. Like the demand for the weapons are more during combat. So that so then that would actually be like You know, no, it works. It works out. Because if there's more demand for weapons, obviously the, the price is gonna go up. But if there's less demand, it's like, oh hey, okay, hey guys, buy some weapons, you know, so you can so you can uh, shoot each other again. Oh, he's back. <laughs> of course. Of course! Oh, of course he's back. Johnny is always back, isn't he? Who's there? Go away! I'm not done yet! Well, that time we actually got to see Johnny's ass. Hmm. You're gonna use the same one that he was shitting in? <laughs> that look. That drum. Oh, we just 
get a box in it. Okay, Snake. Hurry to the rendezvous point. Fashion. This is just straight up like a like a Japanese brand regain. Lightning in a black yellow can. The only drink that can keep Snake going 24 hours a day. Is this fucking advertisement? Is this like a real drink in Japan? Because this is all in Japanese, right? It does say 24 hour something. Uh. It says war. Sen. Sen ne mas. Maska. 24 hour war, I guess. Okay, wait, is the box. It, it, okay, which one's better then? The drum or the box? Apparently, the box is better. different things. I imagine that I imagine the drum has uh, has some like armor benefits. Drum out and one of the buttons knocks it over. Probably not going to go that way. I wonder how you do that. Man. Press X to fall. Ah. Out. Well, that was a bad idea. Hey guys, I'm just one of you. Uh, I'm just, I'm just one of you guys. <laughs> well, that worked. Okay, that happened. <laughs> Fucking, I, I did too much. Uh, I did too much tumbling. Okay, let's just go back to. 
Off the camo. Do I have to go through here? I do. Depending on who I fight, I can make temporary allies in the battlefield. some like <laughs> so this is probably really risky but uh I don't want to get those guns. Snake, not a good time to be standing up. We're good. Well, he died. Maybe it's just such a, such a good idea to go on the main street where all the fucking fighting is. Perhaps it's a better idea to go this way. Hello, Val. <laughs> Your barrel roll. A literal barrel roll. You gotta do a barrel roll, Fox. I wonder where we can find like a a um, those guys uh, disguise, like the military disguise. Back to normal mode. Can't tell if it's better or worse to see him rolling around about out of context. Then find it. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Well I wasn't expecting to see these guys here. 
All right, I guess I'm gonna go Rambo on their ass. Uh, this is not going well. Did I just shoot a barrel accidentally? Press the wrong button. This is not going well. Can we climb under the car? No, we can't. I'm just gonna like remain here because it's 95% camo. I'll just. I'll just, I'll just lay here. Okay, Snake's got a bit of stress. We gotta, we gotta like de-stress him with, uh, uh, I guess, uh, um, noodles. Let me just have some noodles. And then come back. Snake, PMC airstrike. It's all right. Wasn't much of an airstrike now, was it? is this? Why are they st still coming? Are, th are they just gonna still come? Is this- is this how it's gonna be? How many more do you want to spawn? How many more do you want to spawn out of here? I 
Would you stop it? Stop! Stop it! I, what the fuck is this? This is daycare. This is soldier daycare. Is this a glitch? Are they just gonna keep on spawning? I think they're just gonna keep on spawning. No matter what we do. Guess na you mean boss, not naked. Na naked was what was his uh, code name. Naked snake. Look, I honestly, I was trying to get their weapons, but it just ended up like being a constant loop of like their troops just being refueled. So you know, I gave up on that uh, on that goal. Is there anything over here? I don't think there's anything over here. You can call them whatever the hell you want. Well, I'll grind it then. <laughs> Look, I, I do suck at, I, I do suck at uh, stealth at times. I used to be a lot better. I used to be a lot better at these kind of games. But I guess, like, I don't know. Well then. I got knocked out. Old age got me. Something like that, I suppose. <laughs> Can I, uh, just use it from here? Like, can I just, like... Have some regain. Now you should buy Regain. Oh, he's back. There's another one there. Can I just shoot it? Is that an option? Can I shoot it? Can I shoot it? Hang on. Can I activate it and then, like, run away? Oh, well, there we go. That worked. <laughs> because of course there was! Of course there was a fucking mine there! Okay, hang on. I'm gonna go to Drebin's shop and, uh... How much money we got? Oh look, that's pretty cheap. <laughs> Dot side, okay, cool.
when ha wait how do we uh how do we unlock these then ah I see I see May as well just unlock them because they're cheap anyway. Which is this? 350. A scar. Seven point two seven point six two mil uh millimeter by fifty one millimeter apparently. Yeah, I, I think Volko, you were talking about that. And if Luden is here, he'll know all this shit because uh, he's the he's the Marine. He's the the Marine, ex Marine. He's not a Marine currently, but you know. Need the guns. Akma Marine. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, I saw that. Okay, great. Oh, that was not a good reaction time. I saw that. I fucking saw it that time. Well, that's great. How do we... How do we avoid those? Probably not... I, I know how to avoid them. Don't walk over them. That's, that's the best idea, is to not fucking walk over them. You know, I'm such a dumbass, I just uh, did it twice. Three times! Three times! Three! Can we get a fourth? You know, this time I'm just gonna walk over it! And I'm not, I'm not, I, I'm kidding. I'm... Wait, that's not even the right one, that's just a, a sleep one. Oh, let's be green camouflage. Let's be, yeah, this, whatever the hell this place is. Right now, is there stuff like, is there something like around here that we can like take? That's not a, okay, it's not. His back's starting to go out. Wait, let's be linonium. Let linen, linen, how do you say that word? Oh wow, looking at the ground we get a full solid 60 FPS. Linonium, 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 lino, just say lino. Lino is a lot easier to say. There's another one there. Wait, can we collect it like, uh, I can... We can, haha! -ha. Just like old times. Level 3 warning. Metal Gear Solid 2. Oh, sorry, no. Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake. Okay. Battle music created uh, using Konami's custom sound chip, the SCC. Konami's custom sound chip, eh? Back when they used to be not shit. You got a bad back from all the crouching it does when on codec. We have to be upstairs. Yeah, it kind of looks like we might. What was it? What did I see? No, no. Just the the wall thing. Got 
another ration. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna guess there's not really anyone around here. Because I haven't seen the radar, like nothing pop on the radar, so you know. I'm just gonna do this just in case there's another fucking mine on the stairs. No mines. I should say Claymore. Oh great. That wasn't where we were meant to be. I think I might be a little bit lost. the FPS right here. Just in this one spot, 60 FPS. All for advice. Yeah, sure, why not? That's not that's not advice. The rendezvous point is just up ahead. The building seems to be abandoned. It's not occupied by the PMCs or the militia. The rendezvous point is on the top floor. Check your radar to see which way to go, and use extreme caution. Ah, I see. <laughs> map. Here is the map. Otacon has a comfy looking shirt. I can I can agree with that. Otacon kind of looks like he's he's given off some vibes, you know. Not daddy vibes. I mean I I, I mean. But anyway, there is Sunny. But I don't know. It, it, you know, more of like a replacement for. Uh, for Emma. Okay, where's... Oh, there's another set of stairs. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha! Uh -huh. Wait, where? Oh, that's right. Another Claymore grenade. Oh, that's not a Claymore, that's a... Wait, hang on. Can I collect that? I can! Oh, well I'm an idiot, I should have collected them. Also, if you, if, you know, if you remember with Metal Gear Solid 2, we, uh, uh, we, we got Olga's, uh, girl, and that's Sunny, so... Because, you know... Ah, yes. Drop your weapon! Drop your weapon! All right. Here. E easy now. What a gun he, he got. Don't move. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. Careful. I'm no rookie. I'm a ten-year vet. <laughs> uh, 
Really? Then you vet, huh? How the hell did you ever survive ten years? Don't move. CQC, real big boss, huh? Lower your weapon. Slowly now. I wouldn't try anything funny if I were you. <laughs> Fox. Snake? Guess who it is? Snake. Is that you? What happened to your face? Huh. Accelerated aging. They don't know the cause. Oh my god. Meryl. You're my informant at the U.S. military. And... You must be the inspector sent by the U.N. Akiba! Uh, uh, Commander! <laughs> <laughs> This is Rat Patrol Team Zero One. We're with the CID, one of the bodies investigating Poor PMC guy. activity. First hounds, now rats. Here, you can have this back. Why are we having flashbacks to what happened like 10 minutes ago? Well, maybe not 10 minutes ago, but like 30 minutes ago, I guess. Uh, I remember seeing his ass hanging out. It's been four days since Liquid arrived in the area. And since then, this woman's been with him. She doesn't look like a combatant, probably some kind of advisor. Maybe a scientist. <laughs> something, something went on between them. So, hmm. you're I wonder the commander what. of this 01 unit. Why? Something wrong with that? Here, I'll introduce you to the team. That's Ed, our radio man and sniper. Sleeping giant is Jonathan. What? <laughs> what? Don't stand behind Why did that sound? Him. He hates it when people go around his back. And finally, Johnny. Everybody Johnny. just calls him Akiba. Commander, I've finished installing the sensors. Whoa. Okay, Akiba. Oh, I know, but it's like... Anyway... You're all grown up. Maybe it's because someone taught me well. A certain legendary hero who suddenly disappeared. You quit the unit. Me? I never gave up on you. Or on Foxhound. Back then, I just wanted you to accept me. I wanted you to turn around. 
and see who I was. But I've put the past behind. I'm done playing little love games. So, what are you here for? Threat assessment. The PMCs. Really? Because I heard a rumor there's an assassin out there targeting their leader. Well, that's some rumor. I'm only here because the UN wants me to assess the impact and effects of PMCs on their refugee protection efforts. That's all? More than enough for a retired vet like me. I know he's plotting an insurrection. But as long as AT Security's system is in place, there's no way he'll succeed. How can you be so sure? They've implemented a system that monitors in real time every single soldier engaged in combat action, whether he's State Army or PMC. Each individual soldier has been fully ID tagged with nanomachines injected into their bodies for that purpose. The nanomachines keep track of the soldiers and their real-time personal data 24 hours a day. They monitor each man's position, movement speed, reserve ammo, firing accuracy, wounds, rations, water intake and supply, sweat secreted, heart rate, blood pressure and sugar levels, oxygen. All the data gathered on body condition, on sensory organ data showing pain and fear, data on every internal response within the body, all of it is collected by an AI at the system's core. This data is monitored at HQ to enable command to make quicker, more precise, more rational decisions. It also enables crisis management for each individual soldier. It's being used by the U.S. military, by state armies and allied countries, by PMCs. Even police agencies are starting to adopt it. Unless they agree to implement the system, PMCs aren't permitted to send troops anywhere. You've got these system nanomachines in you, too. Of course. Our unit plays by the rules, same as everybody else. It was creepy at first, knowing you're being watched 24-7, but I've gotten used to it. It gives us a lot of advantages in the field, too. We get a clearer picture of what's going on around us, so there's less confusion during missions. And our nanomachines communicate with each other, making teamwork a lot smoother. And that's not all the system does for us. It's also a security guarantee against the PMCs. Security guarantee? That's right. The PMCs are combat groups without states or ideologies. They're not fighting out of nationalism or for a cause. They don't care why the war is being fought. They're just bodies <coughs> fighting on someone else's behalf. They're mercenaries, a commodity. So it's easy to imagine them betraying their clients by joining the enemy or refusing to fight or committing humanitarian atrocities. To keep these things in check, they ensured that no one can use firearms or military vehicles without the proper system ID. It's true for every piece of equipment out there. So even if the PMCs tried to mount a terrorist attack or coup d'etat, their weapons and equipment would automatically be locked out. They wouldn't be able to move, attack, or engage in combat of any kind. And there's more. All the data on their position, personnel, and combat strength is leaked to us by the nanomachines. Even if they managed to circumvent the system by getting the nanomachines out of each soldier's body, they'd be losing their IDs in the process, so they couldn't use their weapons. And the Patriots are behind this. Lalelu Lelo, what are you talking about? Never mind. So this system is foolproof, huh? Completely. They call it SOP. Sons of the Patriots. The AI that controls it is a tightly guarded secret, both at Arms Tech Security, where it was developed, and at the Pentagon. There's no way a third party could get control of it. I just met a guy who said he can launder ID guns. The system does have holes. There can't be more than a few hundred of those gun launderers. It's just a grassroots movement. It's not like they can affect the entire PMC war machine. Anyway, Liquid would have had to register as a PMC in the system to assemble an army that massive. 
His PMCs might even exceed the U.S. military in terms of numbers, but as long as they're registered, their soldiers' activities are constantly being monitored. So long as the U.S. responds immediately when Liquid makes his move, we can take them down by force. By force, huh? When Arsok heard about Liquid's plans, they sent us to sniff around the PMCs. Even with this SOP keeping an eye on things, there are always trouble spots to deal with in the field. <laughs> Disorderly conduct, disobeying orders, contract violations. We act as backup for the system by monitoring the soldiers. PMC inspections are always carried out on the battlefield. That's why we're authorized to carry and use weapons. We've lost five inspection teams in the past few months alone. They were all undercover inside Liquid's PMCs. Then, if you got caught... We'd be exterminated like rats. But we're smarter than that. We've been mingling with the PMCs. And after three months of searching God knows how many battlefields, we finally tracked him down. When we reported that we'd found Liquid, our superiors ordered us to provide the UN investigators with intel. <laughs> but I didn't know it'd be you. <coughs> didn't the Colonel tell you he was sending me? Colonel? Don't tell me it's Campbell! Yeah. He put you up to this? You didn't know. Uh, you gotta be kidding! You expect me to work with my uncle? Meryl. This is bullshit. He's not my father. violation of the need-to-know role. Then... why are you still calling him uncle? You're still calling him Colonel. He's your father. As far as I'm concerned, we're still uncle and niece. I will never forgive that womanizing piece of shit. Meryl! He, uh... remarried. Really? His new wife's about my age. I hear she's even got a kid. It's as if he's given up on making up with his own daughter. Men. Selfish, egotistical pigs. Commander. What is it? There's 20 of them, and they're not from that PMC praying mantis either. It's the frog. His private troops. Frogs. Oh no, the French. Oh, crap. the French Foreign Legion. This is not good. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, were you being followed? No. Apologies to anyone who is French. <laughs> Akiba. They might have seen the reflection off my scope lens. Whoa, wait, 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 hang on. You guys think it was my fault? Oh, 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 no. Oh, it wasn't my fault, I swear. It wasn't my fault. Oh, man. Oh, look, I... <laughs> Dumbass! We're moving out. Meryl, where's Liquid? At a camp up ahead. I'll fill you in There's later. an Apple computer there. Still alive. Wonder who sponsored this game. French cyborgs? Follow me.
eye contact. These guys are with Liquid's private army. Shoot first, think later. We'll use the stairs and get out through the back door on the first floor. We'll change the route as necessary. I'm on point. Stay close. Got it? Got it. Got it. Akiba, breathe deep. Got it. We've got a real live legendary hero with us. Try not to choke. <laughs> Move! I think I think they might be good like women. How do we disable the suppressor? Because I don't want to like use that up. And L2 customize. Thank you for the hydrate, Luna. I shall have. They're castrato. Oh. Eunuchs. They're bloody eunuchs. Where'd you guys go? It's kind of morbid how they how they get this, how they um, dissolve like that. What are you guys doing?
you guys doing? Finally, you guys are moving up. I moved up like fucking several minutes ago. Not a good time. He shot himself. He shot himself. Wow. Kajimbo, Kajimbo. Do you have any reason for this scene? Like, is it just a bit of comedy in the, in light of this, what the hell is happening here? Remember when this was a stealth action game? Now it's a, now, now it's a, now it's a shooting game. I might need to change this. Give me a second. It is real. Like the aiming is really slow. Uh, I need to view camera speed. I'm gonna seven. Yeah, that's still a bit fucky. your fucking hands after this. Yeah, exactly. Also, thank you. Is 
this point you gotta realize Kajimbo really should have just made a, a, a an action game. A first person shooter. Dumb Captain. How you doing? How you doing, Captain? Sorry, I, I, I've been preoccupied with uh, action, stealth action, stealth quote unquote. Can't sleep, so you're watching Twitch. It sounds like a great idea. <laughs> Hang on a second, guys. to take a quick break soon because I'm going to have, have something to eat. Then I'll return with this. 6am there. Well, we all know you're crazy. <laughs> what a I got a grenade. Maybe that's better. But RPG. Also. 500 DP. Well, shit. GOT, Game of Thrones grenade. Excuse me.
The nanomachine network inside each unit member's body lets us share each other's senses. They can see what I see. And it helps control pain. Is that part of the system, too? With SOP, my team can literally operate as one. Well, except for a certain someone who's not much of a team player. So, what do you think? <laughs> really? Is your age of heroes finally over? Hmm. I'm no hero. Never was. Never will be. You haven't changed at all, Snake. But... Your body... Are you gonna be alright? This get-up doubles as a muscle suit. I can still get around. Liquid's camp is up ahead. I'll does that mean if she map. if she's feeling Thanks. like extremely like in love with Snake, does that mean the entire team will feel in love with uh, will fall in love with Snake? And I love that guy, but I fucking hate Akiba. him. One man's blunder can compromise the whole team. I'm sorry, Commander. Be careful, Snake. Johnny is a liquid clone. How dare you! I don't shit everywhere! My genes prevent me from shitting everywhere! I only shit when I go to the potty! Otacon, I know where Liquid is. Yeah, I'm confirming the location. It's to the north of where you are. Meryl's really changed, hasn't she, Snake? She's a lot more self-assured. <laughs> I wonder how much of that has to do with the system. The senses you used to develop through extended training and experience can now be obtained without even working for them. Seems once you're under the system's control, you don't even need experience at all. It even beats that VR training that was all the rage a few years back. Yeah. The growing need for PMCs has led to the creation of a more reliable, cost-effective supply of elite soldiers. It's also made the child soldier phenomena more problematic than ever. Can the nanomachines do anything to counteract post-traumatic stress disorder? Good question. They might provide a degree of psychological stability. You'd think so? That geek kid, Akiba, he was really starting to lose it. And technologically, the system should be able to optimize each soldier's personality traits. And that big guy, he didn't seem to be feeling any pain at all. Augmenting the soldier's existing experience and psychological fortitude. But a soldier's gotta have more than that. The times have changed, Snake. Just like Meryl. <sighs> Snake, hurry to the PMC camp. Based on what Meryl told us, Liquid should be there. I'm gonna take a five minute break after this. Also, see what. Mum wanted before. She was talking about something. Because we had, we've got to do some packing up now in okay, case something time happens. To head for the surface. Which context? Uh, context is important. We might be moving soon, so yeah. Well, not not too soon. Probably like in the next few months, but yeah. But yeah, that's the context. Uh, I won't say anything more than that. Anyway, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Uh. Don't go away. Let's leave this up. Um, yeah. Oh wow, look at that. <laughs> Hang on. Let's let's take uh, let's get Mr. Crab sort of. Alright. Hey for a Pepsi. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, I'll leave you with uh with on that screen, looking at whatever the hell Sonny's doing. All right. Like I said. BRB. Alright, I am back. Oop, oops. Oop. 
There we go. Okay, anything interesting happened on the uh, sunny cam? Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. Yep, had some pizza. Got myself another can of uh, soft drink. This time it's creaming soda. We are ready to play again. Money! Gotta get that money. It's important. It's important to get money. You mean she spun? Oh, that, or if, if you really want to get into it, speed. She speed. You know, we might we might say that. Oh yeah, the snake is dummy thick, but Raiden, he's thicker. Dad, dad ass is bubble blood. Snake, snake, what's wrong with you? Why are you doing that? That's one dead tank. Surprise! Yeah. 
<laughs> that was actually... I, you know, that was actually pretty funny. Let's go back to Octa Camo. So I can, I can uh, put back the uh, put the suppressor back on it now. We don't need the RPG. Let's get a stun grenade. Yeah, that, that, that'll be good. So much money there. Snake has become a real snake. Trust me, it's better that way. I love how uh, throughout all of that, they didn't know. I think I'm just going backwards. Oh no, it's the same texture apparently. Snake has gotten older, he's become more and more like Mr. Krabs. Move! 
Ahmed's got something even better than a tank. It's a bulldozer! Crying. Why is it crying? They're a little emotional. Well, everything got fucked up. But you know what this means. You know what this means? Explanation from later in the game. Well, I, I guess I guess that's to be expected. You know what this means? Money! I'm good. I'm gonna get all the money, boy. I'm gonna sell all the weapons to the arms dealers. I'm turning the Krusty Krab into a gun shop! Give you me a good rub. <laughs> yeah, boy. But are we, are we not gonna make Krabby Patties anymore? We're gonna make gun Krabby Patties! We'll turn the Krabby Patty into a gun! Heavy gunnies! <laughs>
You know how to assemble a burger, boy. Well, I'll teach you how to assemble a gun. We'll make a mint. Ah, gr -gr -gr -gr. We'll sell weapons to questionable leaders of countries and dictators and the government. I'll even sell weapons to that rock bottom. Also, I'm going to select my pistol again. Mi pistola. Nothing's there. Just your imagination. Now go to sleep. Theme of Solid Snake. The war economy boy is bigger than ever. Ah, gr -gr -gr -gr. Oh shit! Huh? That was um, that was that was really close. <laughs> that was very close. Can't see a fucking thing. Damn imagination. Just my imagination. Exactly. 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 You're just like a Skyrim NPC. Now, stay like a Skyrim NPC and not notice me again. Alright? Oh god, this is not. Remain, remain like that. Don't, uh, don't notice me. Stop right there, criminal scum! No, no one, one breaks, breaks the law, law on my watch. watch. How does one break the law on a watch? Hmm? Watches are too damn small. Ha! <laughs> I'm in a SpongeBob mood today. What is this? Also, I bet you there's something in there. tried and true method of uh, going through the grass.
There's, there was nothing in there. There was nothing in there. Fuck. Oh, hey, look, we did a little trick, though. We made that vase, um, down on its, uh, on its head. See anything? Hey. And have it remain that way. Get up. Ah. Who's that? Ah. You're under attack. No, you're not. Attack at all. It just uh, that was nothing. Okay? It was nothing. Now it'll be Metal Gear Patty, by the way. Or Krabby Gear Solid. How about that? Krabby, Krabby Gear Solid. Krabby Beer Patty. Yeah, Krabby Beer? Krabby Beer Patty. I think, I think I might be a little bit... I might be a little bit defective. other times that he was invisible what what made a difference then what's No, that's ocelot snake. <laughs> no, it, it's liquid ocelot. Because that was at the end of uh, Minigus Solid 2. I knew it. Snake, you're here to kill Liquid, aren't you? That's the mission. Are you going to stop me? My mission is to inspect the PMCs. I'm not in a position to take action. All I can do is stand by and watch. I can't help you, understand? I'm a peacekeeper, here to keep order. Understood. Mm -hmm. Snake, you're not, you're not gonna reach him with, with that. The 
fuck is Snake doing? Why is he walking out in the middle of the... Got nano machines in him. I never thought it would be so easy, but these results oh, refreshing, don't you think? Snake, if you won't be a prisoner to fate, then go. Fulfill your destiny.
Boing, boing. I guess him not having nano machines benefited. Total playtime: three hours, thirty-one minutes, four seconds. Continues one. Alert phases eleven. <laughs> uh, kills thirty-nine. Recovery items used eight. You got a score of of uh, of. Uh, there's not even a score. There's no. There's not even a a rank. We didn't get C rank. We didn't get B rank. We got money. Well, Devon points. Is it Devon? Or Darren? Did I... Did I forget his name already? First act success. What? Ready to install the game? What do you mean? Did, did, didn't we already go through this? Again? It's been over three hours since you started the game. Don't overdo it. Be sure to take breaks every so often. Who are you, Nintendo? Try looking far off in the distance or resting your eyes for short intervals. Okay, I'm looking far off into the distance. Alright, yeah, good. Mm -hmm. that's, that's some good distance over there. You see trees of green, red roses too, I see them blue, found me and you, and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. All things to make an install screen for this. It's just he's just having a cigarette. But quite an interesting way to like to have it like a um an install screen. It's, you know. Cigarette. What was that use an ashtray for cigarette butts? I didn't even get to read that. If you begin to feel ill, stop playing immediately. That's good advice. For a VR game. Smoking warning. Cigarette smoke has detrimental effects to you and those around you, particularly infants, children, and the elderly. Have consideration for others when choosing to smoke. Fuck okay, you, I smoke it. I wanted to. I can smoke 15 packs a day. I'll, I'll, I'll blow the smoke in people's faces. All I want. Drebin points. That's not, I don't know why I said Devon. Drebin points. Get a get a proper name. What the fuck is Drebin? There we go. I'll probably play another um forty five minutes. End off at around about four and a half hours for a stream. Mission briefing. Ryden appears in those next 45 minutes. Well, if he doesn't, there's always next stream. She broke the yoke. Are these are these codes for something? Will you be listening to her?
She's even got a cute little maid, maid, um, apron. Snake, too? Okay. Uh, uh, hey, not for me, Sonny. Mm. Oh, <laughs> well, that was just mean. How long was I out? Fibonacci sequence. A whole day. <sighs> Someone saved my life. Yeah. Could have been Meryl and her boys. Don't worry. They're doing fine. Liquid got away. Why can you do it, hey? My body just seized up all of a sudden. This is normal. It's not my joints or muscles. It looked like the PMC soldiers all went haywire en masse, too. I thought it might be a form of ADS, but I didn't detect any aberrations in the EM field. You were lucky. Some of those guys' hearts simply stopped. Mm. Why, why can I do this? There. Naomi was at liquid side. Balakon, did you see her? No, but you're right. Naomi was there. I mean, this is a little distracting, isn't it? I found traces of her DNA in that syringe you had. So it was Naomi. Why? Here, let me show you something. Right after it all happened, I got a video mail from Naomi. It was sent to my old address. <laughs> uh, um, here you go. Uh, thanks, Sonny. They're delicious. Yes, Snake. Sonny. You really hurt her feelings. Yeah. Why don't you teach her how to cook eggs then? Oh, like I know how to cook. Hey, check this out. Please, Norts. The data's been quarantined. No viruses. The voice print matches Naomi's. And I'm fairly confident the video isn't digitally synthesized either. I want her as a daughter. Babe, can we can we adopt Sonny? Snake. <laughs> I'll make this quick. Look after her, we'll take her to I'm Disneyland. I'm in South America. I've been captured and forced to do research. It's Liquid. Liquid's goal is to seize control of SOP, the sons of the Patriot system that controls the soldiers. To do that, he needs to analyze the nanomachine structure and find out how they communicate with one another. The nanomachines currently in use by militaries and PMCs are third generation. Their design is derived from that of first generation. And the 
basic technology is still the same. Ask him. I was the one who created the first. Ah, oh, yes, the, the best feature that Kajim the Kajimbo invented. Nine years ago at Shadow Moses, I injected it into your body, Snake. The technology used in Fox Die was incorporated, inherited really, by SOP. That's why Liquid has me helping him hijack the system, because I know how Fox Die works. <laughs> Center location data in a separate file. Oh, noodles! What the hell is that? It's a tiny. I can collect that. Data. What's that? Sunny decoder in for us. I never know what that is. Remember now? This is data from the Soliton radar used to Shadow Moses. Are you playing a PSP? That's so cool. I got one too. Data in Soliton radar format. Game we playing. That is solid portable ops. Helping us out from Hawaii. The data she sent was 4D sound data. I don't know how Soliton radar works, but all I had to do was change the audio data into video data. It was easy. This Naomi lady seems pretty cool. <laughs> He's a smart cookie. It's Campbell. Snake, as you'll recall, following the Shadow Moses incident nine years ago, Naomi was detained by the authorities. Let me, let, me, let me see what you're playing. But someone arranged for her escape. Yeah. Playing Gran Turismo? I hear they added that to my rap sheet, too. I what suspect it was actually liquid. He must have taken her prisoner himself and forced her to do research at his facility in South America. What is that? Chances are, the location Naomi gave us is the site of Liquid's main base. Oops. But there's no actual probe. There's an ongoing service uh, between a new regime put into power by PMC that is really cool. and a rebel army formed by remnants of the old one. You can actually see what she's playing. The rebels have hired a small-scale local PMC of their own to stir things up. She's, she's got a modded PSP. It's a quintessential example of a war economy market. The new regime is still in shambles, so it's really Pierre Ramamont, one of the PMCs under Outer Heaven control, that's calling the shots. You might say it's a perfect place for Liquid to make his haven, or it could be the trap. True, but even so, the payoff would greatly aid our efforts. I had Sunny trace the origin of Naomi's name. The address is fake, but Sunny was able to track the message back through its proxies based on access date timestamps and data transfer volumes. Apparently, the message originated from a server in South America. I wouldn't exactly call it 100% credible. Colonel, where's Meryl? Well, I know she left the Middle East in pursuit of liquid. I'm sure our sock is on to us by now. We can't chase that line too far. Huh. Which leaves Naomi as our only lead. I've secured you landing clearance at El Dorado International Airport. You'll be acting as a UN inspector. South America. That's about 20 hours from here. Then what's the plan? I'll arrange for them to get you a 4x4. The location Naomi gave us, the PMC's base, is in a mountainous region surrounded by forests. Use the 4x4 to get as close as possible to the PMC security perimeter. From 
They're on Snake. It'll be a solo sneaking mission. Right. Rebels are still pitched in battle against the PMCs. The commotion should help you slip into the facility unnoticed. 20 hours until we land. Got it. I'll have a look at the documents. Maybe I'll even have a smoke while I still can. Hmm. That smoke's been. Eat the egg, Snake. Stop hurting Sonny's feelings. And look at that. We're back to where we were when I last played this. <laughs> Excuse me. Eat the eggs. Put some sandatsu. <laughs> solid sun. Ah, we had liquid sun, then solid sun. Are we gonna have gas sun? Gaseous. That's who Johnny is. Gaseous snake. Johnny is gaseous. Falco was onto something. He said he was a clone of Liquid. No, no, he's a clone of the boss, just a defective clone. Colonel, how deeply are they involved in all of this? The Patriots, you mean? Inherited the all his medical, bad medical traits. Crap. Twelve founders who have all been dead for a hundred years. Give me a break. We know they exist today. Oh, Snake. The purpose of this battlefield control a system real snake. is to control IDs. It fits in with their plans perfectly. Seizing control of the world's ID systems, and then using them to manipulate the economy and information flow. For the Patriots, that's the ultimate prize. You might say the Patriots are the embodiment of the war economy. Everything that Solidus feared five years ago, it's all come to pass. Oh, shit. The Patriots, the Patriots are trying to protect control. their power, their own now interests, the media by controlling the digital the flow of information. Control. Not even the UN can stand up to them. Then Liquid's insurrection is against them. Exactly. It would seem as though Liquid has taken up Big Boss's cause. An age of persistent universal warfare. A world where mercenaries are free from domination. In a sense, the Outer Heaven Big Boss envision is already a living reality. You mean the PMCs and their war business? Right now, Liquid is a slave to the Patriots, forced to fight their proxy wars for them. He must be dying to break free of their spell. Beneath the surface, a new Cold War is brewing between Liquid and the Patriots over who will survive. And no matter who wins, the world has no future. Until we stop Liquid and destroy the system, we'll never be free. Snake, what we call peace is an equilibrium kept in check by the war economy. Destroying the system means wiping out the information society, the end of modern civilization. Like it or not, we may have no choice but to protract the system. Snake. Here's what we know about the current battle. Rebel guerrilla units are advancing on the base of the government PMC troops. That base appears to be Liquid Safe House. According to Naomi's data, she's being held prisoner inside the compound. That's where she is. Assuming the data is correct. And one more thing. What now? The government PMC troops have been operating at high altitudes. We have reports that it's starting to upset the balance of the nano-machine control system. Meaning? Meaning the low blood oxygen content seems to have an effect on their nano-machines, giving them a slight edge in battle. Be careful. 
Steer clear of altitude sickness. Got it. Why won't you die? Fuck's sake, he won't die! He's back again! Snake have tits. Does, does that? Does she have tits? Does she? It does. Oh my god. Why did she get... Don't forget this face. This is the face of the bastard who kills your comrades. I blew your brains out. How did your brains get blown out yet again? I mean, sorry, how did, how did you how did you come back from getting your brain? You know what? Okay, that doesn't work. I, me I meant to say something else other than that. He's a vampire. Yeah. I, I don't I don't believe that. <laughs> He's got nano machines. He's a nano machine vampire. <laughs> or a parasite vampire. Otacon. What the hell? That was vamp. I'm sure of it. I'll never forget that face. Those were PMC soldiers with him. Is he involved in Liquid's plan? We watched him die in Manhattan. Damn it, he won't leave us alone. Snake, could Vamp be immortal? Not a chance. This is the real world, not some fantasy game. I swear, the next time he shows up... Not now, Otacon. Right. I know. Snake, according to satellite imagery procured by Mei Ling, the facility where Naomi's being held is to the north, along a mountain road. I'm sending the location to your map. Mei Ling? What's she up to these days? Taking command of the Missouri, apparently. The Missouri? That's a World War II battleship. The museum contract in Hawaii expired some time ago. I hear it's now being used as a virtual training vessel. No kidding. Not for actual combat training, of course, but rather to get sailors used to seamanship on an analog vessel. Or so I hear. After the mess at Shadow Moses, Mei Ling kind of got put out to pasture. Hmm. Even so, making captain at her age, that's pretty impressive. Rumor has it she caught the eye of some lecherous old admiral who got her promoted. She always did have a thing for older men. Hmm. Maybe <laughs> it's too early to retire after all. Thinking of taking a little training on an analog vessel, Snake? 
<laughs> no. At this point, I've got no need for any more training. Fair enough. Listen, Snake. When you get there, remember, the conflict uh, between the PMCs now. and the Rebels has nothing to do with your mission. <laughs> There's no reason for you to get involved or take sides. That said, creating some sort of impact on the battlefield could produce better conditions for sneaking. The Rebels are targeting the facility being used by the PMCs as a base. This is more or less the same spot where Naomi's being held. If you aid the Rebels, they might get rid of some of the PMCs and help carve a path for you to sneak in. That freak I just saw, with the tentacles, was it using the same octo-camo system as my suit? Yeah. I thought that technology was of your own design. Um, actually, I kind of based it on some design Sonny snagged off the net. And the data came from? DARPA. <laughs> so in other words, we're on equal ground technologically. Sorry, I guess I should have told you. And by the looks of things, they know I'm coming, too. Yeah, it could be a trap. Stay sharp. Okay. Head for the research lab where Naomi's being held. It's to the north. Stand up! Did I just see a Playboy mag there? Did I just see Playboy pop up? and let's move. It was a Playboy magazine. Fire. Really? How'd you know I was even in here? It's that fucking dark. Look at this. You know what? You know what? You know what? I'm gonna do this. Hang on. Can I restart? I can't restart. Okay, I guess you're gonna kill me then. Come on. Come on. Snake! What happened? Snake? 
Snake! Snake! <laughs> Head for the research lab where Naomi's being held. It's to the north. Stand up! Yep, just your imagination. Back me up! There we go. Now that's how you do it. Any other prisoners left? here after all there's nobody here don't scare me like that don't scare me like that <laughs> what <laughs> don't scare me like that don't scare me like that stop copying me stop copying me i'll shoot you i'll shoot you Fed and clean, put me to sleep. Okay. Ah, uh, goodbye, baby. Uh, the tree tops. When the wind blows, the crater will fall. And the vibrates, the crater will fall. I don't know. Uh, I didn't. Uh, you sing. Do do. I don't know. 12 gauge, double powered shotgun. Munya. South American Rebel Disguise. Hey, there we go. What? Disguise, South American. Look guys, I'm one of you.
Wait, what's that? Sight grenade. That was probably all the rebels that died. Yeah, for South American rebels, they don't sound like South Americans. I suppose the cyberpunk game will be, uh, will be, uh, when I, when I see you next, Walker. Are you actually going, like, having a nap? By the way, remember everyone, next stream is the Skyrim VR stream. We're restarting it. We're not restarting Skyrim, but we're restarting, like, a regular streaming schedule for that. Oh, look at that, 60 FPS here. Amazing. As soon as you look at anything else, it's like... Goes right back down to like 20 or something. Fuck's sake, snake! Fucking hell, snake! I just, I'm blaming snake for that one because you clearly saw what the fuck just happened there. I was aiming, then all of a sudden, oh, I'm gonna stand up now. HQ, come in. This is HQ. The enemy is attacking from an unknown position. Alert status. 
acknowledged. Sending reinforcements. Use extra caution. Come in. This is HQ. All clear. Understood. The state of alert has been lifted. Resume positions. Huh? Who's that? No one here after all. No. Ah, something there. Just my imagination. Yep. Now, can you stop noticing me? It's getting annoying. There's a, <laughs> there's a fucking Playboy here. Because of course there is. Well, I went the wrong way. He gets paid for every snake he sees, Sean. He's paid by the snake. That is that is definitely something that's interesting. <laughs> now we can get, be paid by the wink. All forty of them. God damn it, I really did go the wrong way, didn't I? Okay. 
Snake, there's someone I'd like you to meet. A member of the mission staff. A psychological counselor. Psychological counselor? A lot of soldiers can't handle the stress of battle, end up panicking. She'll be useful in helping you understand the mindset of both the PMC and rebel soldiers. She? Rosemary! Yeah. Nice to meet you, Snake. This is Rosemary. She used to work as a data analyst at the Pentagon. Wait! But moved to combat support during the Big Shell incident. Uh, yeah. She was in charge of Jack's files, wasn't she? After that, she studied psychology. And now she's a counselor with CSP, the Combat Stress Platoon. Yeah, I hear psychological counseling's the hot field these days. Increased combat efficiency and productivity, all without ever picking up a gun. I'll be acting as your personal counselor on this mission. Since the passing of the new millennium, <laughs> one of the most uh, important okay. issues facing Rose. today's military is the mental care of its soldiers. I can also provide advice on soldier psychology from a threat assessment perspective. Contact me anytime. I'll be standing by here at home with Roy, but I'm on a different circuit. The frequency is 147.79. Her advice will have a positive effect on your psych gauge. Survival on the battlefield depends on your psychological well-being. Lose your cool and your body stops doing what you tell it to. Even a veteran soldier like you. I know. Mind, body, technique. Some things haven't changed with time. When your psych is running low, ask her for advice. It'll help keep you in peak condition and focused on the mission. By the way, Colonel, isn't that your house? Well, yes. Then the woman you married, the one that Merrill was talking about. Is Rosemary, yes. Didn't I tell you before? News to me. What about Jack? Jack. Jack, from Foxhound. Codename Ryden. I seem to remember him being engaged to Rose. Oh. We lost all trace of him. Jack's gone. I used to work with the guy. He saved Sonny from the Patriots. He disappeared soon after that. What about you? Jack disappeared and you just moved in on Rose? I was consoling her over her loss. And one thing just led to another. She's young enough to be your daughter. Yeah. Lucky me, huh? huh. <laughs> now I see why Merrill was so disgusted. <laughs> Merrill said something about me. Yeah, I believe her words were, I'll never forgive that womanizing piece of shit. I see. Colonel, you knew she was our informant in the Middle East, didn't you? Was it you who put her up to it? Yes. I used my connections in the army to get Merrill the job. You wanted your daughter someplace where you could keep an eye on her. Look, everybody involved in the incident at Shadow Moses either lost their job and status, or in the case of Merrill and Mei Ling, got brushed aside. Merrill wanted to make a comeback, a difference. We can't all be as strong as you, Snake. Some of us can't bear living like pariahs. <laughs> Since Shadow Moses, I've been branded a criminal. I think of it as my own small way of making it up to my daughter. My own flesh and blood. In any case, call Rosemary if you ever need advice. I love how stress is like measured with the percentage there. Oh, guinea pigs.
What? Who is that? Split up! We've got company! Ah! Now, if they could just focus on the fighting and uh, not on me, that'd be great. This is pretty much like an advanced version of um, of Metal Gear Solid 3, really. The only difference is, speaking about the guinea pig, I can't, like, you know, tranquilize it and keep it in my inventory. <laughs> Here we go. See, we don't need to kill people, we can just knock them out. Maybe they'll fall asleep next to a, you know, a, a poisonous snake. The real one, not me. Uh, but, you know, it, it won't count as, our, as us killing him, you know. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, excuse me. Okay. Power station, then. Implying the kiss has been. Well, you know, I do tend to give people the kiss of death. Who is this? Snake. That voice. There's an ambush ahead. Government and PMC hey. troops. You could be shot from anywhere. Watch your surroundings. Look to the distance. Is this Jack? Jack is dead. Snake. I'm at your side. Wait. It's me, Christopher Walken. It kind of, like, almost. It sounds like a young Christopher Walken, kind of. No, no, you know who it sounds like? You know who it sounds like? Willem Dafoe. Almost. Let's go! Almost a Willem Dafoe. Let's go! I don't know why I said Christopher Walken. I think, I think because I was thinking, I, I was thinking of, like, the, that sort of, like, you know, range of actors. Willem, Willem Dafoe. Willem Dafoe. That's who I meant. Can I make my first choice, Willem Dafoe? No. Snake, PMC sniper. Keep your eyes peeled. Keep low and stay behind cover. Shots fired, sniper. Well, there's a sniper somewhere. Machine gun. I see a machine gun. Oh god. I want it. I want it. I want it. Well, oh, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Can I? Hang on, hang on. Since they're rebel, since the rebels, I think, are the ones that are the, the, um... I think this is a perfect time to do this. Don't worry, guys, I'm one of you. Okay, maybe that wasn't such a good idea. At least I got the machine gun. I'm at stress 80%. Rose. Do you need something? 
A yeah. quick psych analysis. No problems with your psych gauge, I see. Cool. But remember you're in danger, Snake. Stay alert and focus on getting to safety. I know you can do it, Snake. Hang in there. Right, we're good. Hey, good. There's a lot of shit going on right now. Anything to say about this, Rosemary? Need something? What's up, Doc? Your psych is in bad shape. You should really think about that. I'll look into it. Snake, are you okay? Your psych's looking awfully low there. Yeah. I can't seem to get out of this slump. You should find a nice, safe place to rest and replenish your psych. It may help to equip some Munya, too, if you have any. Munya? It'll help you to relax, and should help your sight gauge recover faster. Okay, I'll give it a try. I guess she's giving us advice then. So, well, I got some, uh, some Munya. Oh my god, we got flashbanged. <laughs> we just got flashbanged. Okay, uh, let's see. Maybe we don't need SIGs. Maybe we do need SIGs. Hang on, I'm just gonna get rid of this useless iPod. I just realized that the cigarettes might, might actually be beneficial. So you're in a bad spot, you're gonna die. All the places to stand up, Snake. doing it oh shit we should <laughs> I just realized shit uh, uh, we need uh, uh, th th yeah there, there we go I just realized I was like smoking too much
We are company! Go, go, go! Wait, I know, I know, I know what I'm supposed to do. Hang on. Hang on, customize. Muzzle mount. And suppressor! And then... Um, well, that was lucky. They're like, oh yeah, enemy located. Which enemy? There's ter several fucking enemies. Oh, you prick! You prick! You eat a eat a dick! Eat a dick! Did he just kill himself? Did that dude just kill himself? That dude just killed himself. Oh, there we go. We got an LMG now. Of course I get luck of the gods and luck of the winner, winner in Mario Party, followed by the luck of the gods again. Oh look, brick pattern. Jesus, what the fuck happened there? Also, I just realised I went over the limit. I said I was gonna like only play like what was it forty five minutes more when it was around about this time an hour ago. All right, we'll go to five hours, um, and then I'll uh, I'll save and quit. <laughs> Look at this grass pattern. Happen. You. Come on, hop in. It's getting what, was okay. Was his camouflage meant to change to the apple? I don't think so.
So I decided to check you out. Solid now, brick. A lot of legends about you out there in the Intel community. Especially in the, uh, Especially in the CIA. You know those nano machines I injected you with back in the Middle East? They let me track your location. Figures, the B and B's are here. Things are about to get hairy. B and B's. Yeah, B and B. Their beauty and the beast. Together, they're called the B and B Corps. Their squad of Bed and enhanced breakfast female call. soldiers belong to the PMCs. Anytime there's a mess that needs cleaning up, they're on the scene leading the elites. That's a female. Probably freelancers hired by the PMCs. They run out of a separate parent organization. Guess it's time for good old Drevin to let you in on a few things. Ever since you showed up in the Middle East, the B&B Corps has got orders to kill. Their number one priority is to eliminate some guy on sight. A guy named uh, Solid Snake. But from where I'm sitting, Old Snake seems a little more appropriate. How uh, old, huh? Cheer up. That's the bad news. Word on the street says that beneath those ugly ass suits, the B and B's are real babes. Drop dead gorgeous. They also say each one of them's been traumatized by war. Bad. They weren't even soldiers to begin with, you know. More like victims of war. They suffered shell shock on the battlefield. Post-traumatic. It damaged their minds pretty much beyond repair. So the only way they could cope with the reality of battle was to become war machines themselves. The remnants of their human side are buried deep within. The beast, that's what you see on the outside. War transforms a snake into beasts. Hmm. War transforms us. But deep within that shell, something human survives. A fragile, scarred heart. Without a shell to protect it, it's like the yolk of an egg. Word going round is their natural flesh and blood bodies can't survive in the open for more than a few minutes. And they've been convinced that by killing Snake, their minds will be cleansed. They think it's gonna free them from all the pain, and all the fury, and all the sorrow. Which makes these babes pretty much obsessed with killing you. Four B and B's have been identified so far. The one you just saw was Raging Raven. There's also Laughing Octopus, a master of mimicry, and Crying Wolf. She runs on four legs. And finally, ah. the mistress of mind control, Screaming Mantis. Mantis? Yeah. There used to be a guy by that name in the U.S. military. Mm -hmm. A Russian psychic. He could control people's minds. I guess she inherited the title. She keeps the other B&B's minds in check with her powers. Octopus. Raven. Wolf. Mantis. You got it. They're the snake hound you know. They've got you in their sights. <laughs> well, look at that. I'd hate to be in your Four shoes. names, uh, harkening back to the uh, to the first game. I thought no one was supposed to be able to hack into the system. Are you with the Patriots? No, sir. I ain't no lale lule. <laughs> I mean, I'm no Patriot. You can say Patriot. 
I guess that means you're clean, right? The nanomachines I got in me are different from the military kind. No speech restrictions for me. What the hell are these patriots? Are they human? Not anymore, they ain't. They're the law of this world, created over the course of history. They're what holds this world together, keeps this whole mess in check. We are formless. We are the very discipline and law that Americans invoke so often. The Patriots are America, the world's greatest military power. They are the war economy. Mm -hmm. Which makes you and me just cogs in a much grander schematic. I mean, someone obviously had to start the whole thing at the beginning. But now their law has taken on a life of its own. A life of its own? Yep. The country, the war economy, it ain't run by people. It's run by the system. No need for high-level decision-making authority. It's all handled by a massive, yet simple information processing system. An AI. Mm. It works just like natural law. The world's a much simpler place than most folks realize. Every aspect of the Patriot system is closely monitored by three peripheral AIs and a core oh, AI that, that ties them all together. The SOP system is one part of that. Oh, it's all backed oh, up by subscribed. the control system, hey. so not even yours truly can sneak inside come the Patriots AIs. What if, hypothetically, someone that was found weird. a way? It didn't come up. If they could fool the IDS, I guess they could use it as a haven to lay low. Haven? You know, like a tax haven. In the internet society, we have net havens, data havens. A haven is some place where social conventions and the rules of the net don't apply. Back in the 20th century, the super rich would open bank accounts in months. countries without income tax laws. Not a bad way to evade paying taxes. Now we've got us a society where every oh, there we go. person is totally controlled by the nano machines inside their bodies. Cedric underscore Binks just resubscribed. They have now subbed eight control. times. How do you hate? I guess you could buddy. say my gun Glad to catch you kind live. of borrows from the Haven concept. <laughs> after a battle. Glad to catch you live. So, good luck yes, finding thank, a way to thanks, access Texas the Patriots thanks, AIs Texas. from the outside. It's absolutely impossible. No chance in hell. Like I said, there's no breaking into those AIs from the outside. But Liquid's got something in mind. You sure there's no way? <laughs> I'm just a gun launderer. Only reason I'm interested in you is because you start a lot of fires. All right, then. You need me? Just give me a ring. Now. You know, just change the like, change it for a beer, you. and Stop he'll be right addicted. Hang on a second. Ah, oh, God. <laughs> well, that was that. Yeah, that was definitely a good end to the stream. <laughs> fucking, fucking monkey wanting a wanting a cigarette. Uh, well, that, that's, that is pretty good. Oh, look at this. 
Wow, look, we actually got up to... And that was the last time I played it, too, look. Bloody August... Um, 2015. That so wasn't 2014, it was 2015. Seven years ago now. Bloody hell. I'm going to keep it there for, you know, to remember the last time I played it. Uh. All right. I'm so I am, I do apologize that you came you came in at like right at the the, the 5 hour mark unfortunately. Right when I'm just about to stop. But hey, if you can, you know, try to catch uh Try to catch the uh, the Skyrim VR stream. Uh, here we go. Turn off system. There we go. Okay. Ah, well, that's that, eh? This wasn't the first. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, it happens. The Skyrim stream is, uh... Uh, about... Let's see, let's count. 14 hours from now? 14 and a half hours? Um... It'll be 7.30 my time. Um... 7.30 a.m which is for Americans on the East Coast. That is 3.30 p.m. And for Europe, uh, particularly Central European time, uh, that is 9.30 p.m. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, at least you saw the smoking monkey. <laughs> uh, so Skyrim VR stream will be uh, happening in uh, from now, 14 and a half hours. Um, so yeah, that's more than enough time for everyone. Um, oh you, can't, oh, you can't make it. Oh, well, that's all right. But hey, I mean, maybe, maybe you can like catch it during your break or something. <laughs> or, or you could always watch the VOD. Um, cause I am uploading these to YouTube as well. So, yeah, that was, uh, playing that. Um, I gotta say, I'm, I'm. I'm happy to be playing this game again. Um, even though I only played, like, the last time I played, it was just that first act that I played. Um, and this one, you know, I actually played a little bit more. So that's, that's good. I'm looking forward to playing through the rest of the game. <laughs> I'm certainly looking forward to the, uh, to the, to the hours of cutscenes that we're going to be watching. <laughs> oh, God. Can't watch on mobile. Oh, well, that's a shame. Oh, well. <clears throat> like I said, um, maybe you can watch the VOD. Um, but yeah, no, it's it's going to be great because there's a there's a quite a few mods that I've installed that have just made the experience like a lot better and and a lot funnier and also a lot more immersive and um, a lot more fun. Uh, in particular, there's a mod with a... Uh, there's a mod I installed... Um, that's a spell wheel, basically. Um, but it's like an inventory wheel. Uh, so it's actually, like, you actually physically, um, you actually physically see the, uh, the inventory that you have, and then you go, oh, you know, I'll, I'll grab that. I'll grab that potion. And you can grab that potion, and then you can actually put it to your mouth and, and drink it. So, yeah. It is really cool. Um, uh, but yeah. Um, anyway. <laughs> uh, I, that's when up. that's when my next stream will be. So, I will see you all there for that. Um, but I guess, uh, yeah, I guess it's time to go to my thanks for watching screen. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Thank you for lurking. Thank you for chatting. Thank you for dropping by to say hello, even if it was five minutes before the end. <laughs> Thank you for dropping in. 
Um, but yeah, I will see you all next stream. Um, but whatever you did, thank you very much. You are all awesome. Uh, thanks again, Thedric, for the resub. Um, it was a pleasure, man. Um, and like I always say, no one's ever required to sub, but it is appreciated. Uh, nonetheless, uh, it, and it does help me out. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Thanks again. But, as always, no matter where in the world, no matter, no matter what time it is, as always, stay safe and have a nice day.